What's going on guys? Welcome to Season 6, Episode 4 of my non League of Legends series. How's it going? Two games to get through as per usual. Uh, what's been going on since the last episode? Well, it, the form's a bit patchy, if that's the correct term to use. Sketchy. We're not playing the best, but we're still getting results, which is something. And it all happened since Leicester. I said, we lose to Leicester City, it may affect our confidence a little bit. And it's we're not, we're not, we're not losing. That, that's a plus. Because we haven't actually lost in the league since the 18th of August against Sunderland. So that's that's something to be positive about. But I'm starting to be a little bit concerned now that we're not finishing the games. Uh, I think, for example, we took the lead against Swansea. Uh, there you go, they equalised. Same against Berry. We, we took the lead against Berry. they equalised. And it, it seems to be coming quite a regular shape. The only difference is we managed to beat Reading. We couldn't score. It was an own goal. And it happened to get a QPR. QPR did take the lead in Venice. And it was looking like a, a defeat on the cards. But Oglobi gets the penalty late in the game. And it, it, that I consider a good result. Considering how bad we were. We, we were poor. So I'm a bit concerned. But I'm hoping we can start getting some results. Starting against Barnsley. And we've got Blackburn Rovers. So that would be, be a tough game. In terms of the squad, everyone's okay except for Alessandro Tripodelli. He's suspended for one match, picking up too many yellow cards. He, he likes doing that, it seems. But it's the same team as per usual, except I actually no, it's not the same team. I brought in Andrew Rimmer in place of Tripodelli. I thought I know he's not. He's he's naturally meant to be a right side defender, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start him on the left to see how he gets on because I, I like to see how. He, I mean, you know. He had a couple of games last season, didn't do too bad. He just didn't get too many chances. So I'm hoping he can prove himself. And who knows, keep his place in the team for the time being. But aside from that, a bit of drama in terms of transfer. Andy Carroll is furious. He's not getting enough games. He's uh, really pissed off and not playing. But to be honest with you, Andy, every time I put you on, you get injured. You don't do anything. And so it looks like his days at Bolton are numbered. And he's wanted by, I think it's a Danish team actually. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, let's have a look at them. Who are these? Yeah, they're in the Danish uh, Superliga. It could mean he could Andy Carroll be going to D Denmark. That would be an interesting journey for him. Um, as long as they give me the right money. I've only asked for 20 grand. It's a bargain, really. <laughs> Considering, I didn't, what did I pay for him? Jeez, I thought I'd pay 6 million. No, I didn't pay 6 million. That's just fine. That's what hold it. We've got him on a free transfer. So if we get 20 grand, that'll be, I'll be happy with that. But anyway, that's the little drama going on at the moment. Uh, I think Adrian's pissed off as well. He wants to go. He's not getting many games. So, you know, when you've got players like Dowell scoring goals, scoring world-class goals every single, well, pretty much every single game, it's, it's no wonder he's not getting any any chances in the team. But he's on the bench. He could feature again today. So with all that being said, let's get to Barnsley and let's hope we get three points on the board. Right, we can't let the fans down. That's a good message. We're going to go with that. But I want to keep our good run going. If you consider that a good run, I don't know. I mean, I'm getting a bit spoiled, really. You know when things are going well, when you're complaining that you haven't lost since the beginning of the season or whichever. <laughs> so we're getting a bit spoiled. Let, let's just try and lower the expectations a little bit. It's not bad. It's not the end of the world with the form that we're on at the moment. But I do like to see more greens on the board. But anyway, here comes Dowell. He finds Mitchell. Good ball to Rinner. Good cross as well, to be fair. It's a... Uh, ooh, I thought, I thought it was a penalty. <laughs> I was going to say, look, it could be a penalty, but no. It's Obi that conceded the foul. And... Uh, yeah, it'd be good... It'd be interesting to see where this season's going to lead us. Because we're not playing bad at all, really. Here comes Yedin. 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 What is he Yedin for? Yedin. <laughs> Here comes Obi... Kahui's Dowell going to strike it. He's looking for it. You can sense that. Oh, good ball. But Obi finds it. And it's a goal. Ogo Obi's finding his scoring. He's got his scoring boots on again. It's his 10th goal of the season. It's a good finish. The goalkeeper maybe could have done better. But it doesn't really matter if it's a good strike. Yeah, he could have done, done better. That was, that was terrible goalkeeping. But anyway, it's 1-0 to Bolton. That's what we want. And that currently leaves us third with 27 points with two points behind Huddersfield. We've got to keep our concentration up, though. That's not a good place to leave the uh, to lose the ball. But this is what happens, though. We, see, we start off okay. We get a goal early on. Then we seem to lose our concentration and uh, concede at silly times. 
So I'm hoping... You see, this could be it. This could be a potential... Nope, it's okay. We've cleared it. Here comes Obi. He's on his, he's on his own. He's going to go for it. He's going to go for it. This will be a great goal. Oh, that would have been a great goal. And this is Ogu Obi, the top championship striker that you're seeing right now. This is what he can do. On his day, un unplayable. Brilliant player. And if, and if you're still playing FM17 this late in the year, if you need a striker in the championship, look for that guy. Because I'll tell you something, he will score you goals. And uh, if you get Kahui, he can lead you the ball in silly areas. So be beware of that. We need to... Def oh, he's punched it out. Oh my God, what happened there? I thought the... Um, the goalkeeper well and truly cocked that up. Oh, he has this time. Oh no! Oh, it's a foul. I thought we gave a foul. I thought we gave the foul away. Okay, so it's half time. That's not. That's not bad. We need to improve though. Got to improve. Things are going well, but you're capable of better. That's the best message to send. Right. We need another goal. Look at me. It's, look at the stats. Ridiculous again. Twenty-two shots. It's like three. It's getting late in the game. He's thinking about making some changes. I think. How how, how is Mister River doing? He's not doing too bad actually. He's on six point seven. It's good enough for me. It's good enough. Uh, do I make any changes or not? That's what I'm concerned about. But I'm not making it. I don't know. It's not. If it's not broken, don't fix it. I know, but. Then again, you look at the fitness issues here. We've got Casey Palmer on 59%. That he's playing well. But then again, you know, you can, get, you can get injured. I'll start kicking myself like I always do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give Palmer a bit of a break. This could backfire, back, backfire. But we have got Max Power. He's good enough to take his place. Mitchell's on 6.7. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll leave that as it is. Let's not make too many changes. I'm going to upset the, I'm going to rock the apple cart. If things are going well. I mean, look at that. 28 shots. Barnsley haven't had a shot the entire half, as it stands. There we go. Right, I, I like another goal. I can get another goal. This is good. Dowell shoots. What a goal. Another classic goal from Kieran Dowell. God Almighty! Is his <clears throat> if you want to sh show his entire season of goals so far, that's it. That's that the, the type of goals that he's that he's putting away. It's unbelievable! What what a signing! I think I have to say so far that is he's probably been our best signing since I've been Bolton manager. You could argue that, and I guess there's a few other players as well that I've signed up there. But so far, he him. Kieran Dowell, outstanding. But Ogo Obi gets man of the match and he deserves it. Great victory. Finally get the three points that we need. Which, uh, where would, where does that actually send us? We're, so that's it. We're, we're still third. We're two points behind Huddersfield. So far, so good. We've got Blackburn coming up next. That'll be a tough game. I would probably take a draw on that one. Uh, but then again, they're lying 11th. They're not doing great. But it's a rival game, isn't it? Is it a rival? Yeah, it's a rival game. Anyway, let's move, let's move on and uh, let's see if we can get three points there. Okay, so one change being made. That's Trippardelli's back in the team in place of Rimmer against rivals Blackburn Rovers. Uh, it's going to be a tricky game. I'm going to call it a draw. I'm not sure about you, but uh, I would definitely accept a draw at this point. So we're going to pick up where we left off. That's what I want us to do. And that's the best message to send. Um, but I don't know about this game. This is going to be... I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm, I'll, I'll take a draw. That's all I'm going to say. But we're, we're kicking things off. Got Mitchell on the ball. Can we get an early goal? That'll be something at least. But uh, it'd be marvellous if we get out of three points. It's a corner ball. And Delegivan has hit the post. No, well, that's not a bad start at all. Oh, well that was that was lucky. <laughs> Bulker really had to stretch for that one. We'll keep an eye on that table. Uh, the minute Br uh, Brighton have fallen to second, 
bloody... It's, it's amazing how far this team has come in the, in the space of two to three seasons. Next, next thing, one minute you're staring League One in the face and then you're trying to survive in the championship and then just all of a sudden you're, you're competing to get into the Premier League. It's amazing. And spending next to nothing as well. That's, that's the best thing about it. Here comes Dowell. He's going to score. What a goal. Kieran Dowell again. He's doing it all by himself. It's a great goal. A great pass by... Who's, who passed it? It was Kahui, of course. Good assist. But look at this. Still, it's not the best goal of the season. Which we know who that is. I don't think you need to show that again. I won't show it again. But KC Palmer... In my opinion, still holds that. If he doesn't get goal of the season, if, if did he do goal of the season awards on this? Anyway, it doesn't matter. If he didn't get the award, there's something very wrong because he that was an amazing goal. And if you haven't seen it, go back to episode one of this season, uh, or at the end of episode two if you prefer, and have a look at that goal because that goal was superb. There was, there was no flukiness about it. He knew exactly what he was doing. Right, we need to start defending here because Blackburn are having a right go. And this squad, we knew that was going to happen. It's 1 1, and look at that 21 shots. Blackburn have had three the entire game in this score. Got the feeling it's going to be that sort of game. I just wish we could show a bit of consistency, you know, winning game after game we haven't done that we haven't done that on this under the entire series of this game of this uh, whole save you know that can we at least do that that'd be something to cheer about isn't it right so anyway we're gonna to, we play well we consider ourselves not unlucky not to be winning yeah let's 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 pat them on the shoulders you know you've done what you're doing well now we need to start winning Okay, that was an odd highlight, but there we go. Okay, here comes Palmer. Well, not this time. Not this time, Casey. You've still got plenty of time to score and have a goal like that. Well, I'm going to go. That's the main thing. Here's Dowell. Good little build there. It's Mitchell. Oh, what a goal that would have been. What a finish that would have been. Still, it's, uh, it's positive. Still got a bit of time to get something. Look at the stats, the insanity of this. We've only got one goal from it all. Absolutely smashing them all, according to them. According to the stats, anyway. Right, let's get up to... I haven't made any changes. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick look. It's got to be someone... You know, Kara Mitchell's not doing too well. I think I'm going to take them. I've got to put Fletcher on. Need to see more of Fletcher, to be honest with you. He's not been... I was hoping to, to see him have a similar scene to last season. I know in fairness, Mitchell's been playing very well, so you can't really blame too much. Uh, but aside from that, Giovanna's keeping an eye on him. Don't think it's, I don't think I should take him off just yet. I'll keep an eye on him. So one change. Fletcher's coming on for a Mitchell. Come on, we can get this. And can we? And Della Giovanna has just got injured. He's got a facial injury. He's had a few of them this season. But you may as well stay on, mate. You may as well just be a soldier. Here comes Dowell. Come on. OB. There you go. 1-1. One, one. No back-to-back -back wins yet again. <laughs> but it's 1-1. One, one. Um, what's happened to Giovanna then? So he's got a potential head injury. He's had so many of those. Surprised he's still playing, to be honest with you. Um, it was a good performance. It was a rival game, so it was a bit, it was a bit tense. But look at that! What is going on? How can we have 43 shots and not and not score more than one goal? Explain that to me. That is unreal. Blackford had five. We, we've so basically we, we, we're pretty much a better team. We do win the game, but it leaves us in third. So there you go. So that that's. That's the main thing. So Giovanni's up for about you know, two to three days. Not not uh, not a big issue then. Go go see a doctor. I don't know how good he is, but he'll fix you up again. Right then. So look at the league table once again. We're third. That's good. 
and the, gives us a bit of a gap between us and ourselves in six at least. So it's not been bad, is it? It's been pretty good. I mean, who have we got next? Uh, we've got Warsaw, Ipswich to come up now. So I'm going to probably play through them, at least them three. Then again, that can change. So. Yeah, it's a few tricky games to come up, but it's good. We're in a very good position, and, we, and uh, hopefully we can find ourselves here at the end of the season. Ideally, I don't want to be in the playoffs. I like to be in automatic promotion. Because playoffs are an absolute ball ache, as you may have seen last season. We didn't really do well. <laughs> so, But anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, things are going well. We're going to play through them games. I'm uh, probably going to show you the Bristol City and Brentford, and if all goes well. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And uh, if you have, hit the like button, leave a comment. And more importantly, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys very soon. Take it easy. Bye for now.